Hi, I'm Rhonda Crimes. I'm a life and leadership coach supporting everyday people just like you to reflect and rework your everyday stories so you can step into the everyday leadership of your families and communities and create a compelling, meaningful and fruitful life every day. And today, let's talk about when saying yes is on autopilot. So, I was chatting with a gorgeous young woman recently who had just returned from a much needed holiday. And what struck a chord with me was that although she had now been on holidays for well over a month, she was still shattered. I continued to chat away with her, but I was left really wondering about that statement. And as I reflected about her situation, it became increasingly clear that she was in classic, chronic, superwoman burnout. Just as a bit of history, she had separated and then reunited and then separated again from a very long-term relationship. And in her attempt to dull the pain of this, she'd made every effort to throw herself back into a rich, action-packed life. She took on additional roles in her job, both socially and vocationally. She took up study. She travelled overseas. She ate out with friends regularly. She went to the gym. She continued to support all her friends and was often the one to initiate the gatherings, some involving considerable drive times crammed into the weekends. Then she found a new man. So there was that relationship to take care of without really dropping off anything else. She was frequently wanting to sleep in on weekends but having all these events planned meant there was often brunch, lunch, afternoon teas, drinks, parties, pub nights, work dues, as well as the washing, shopping, cleaning and other domestic chores that needed to be crammed in and around those Saturday and Sunday fun days. Weekdays were filled with work and then the extra duties that she'd put her hand up for often resulted in her working late to get things done. Then there was the study to get done and her boyfriend to be with at night. This was the pattern for her life for over two years. So while she had initially deployed the activities as numbing agents to help her not have to think about her unsuccessful relationship and all the hurts and the grieving and the isolation that that split had brought with it, but steadily these activities took on a life of their own and they became her new norm. And she literally had no time to think about anything but getting through the week until maybe that one glorious Sunday sometime where she could actually sleep in. Unless, of course, someone asked her to do something else and then she was always a yes. It seemed that her much needed holiday had been in the same busy vein. She had used her first week before going away to get a ton of stuff done at home. You know, the little jobs that had been pushed aside. But now she had free time, they all of a sudden became urgent to get done before she went away. Her trip away was a glorious catch up and an opportunity for her to introduce her new man to lifelong friends. So lots of socializing with a sprinkling of beach and bush time then on to meeting up with another group of friends to take advantage of an unrelated whirlwind event in another part of the country. On the Friday that I'd spoken with her, she had been home for four days, but had only managed to get her much longed for sleep in that day. And then she was back to work again on Tuesday. And once again, there was a big weekend plan because she was on holidays and she had time to spare. What we recognised as we spoke was that as she had gotten used to saying yes to all and sundry after her breakup, to fill in her time so she wasn't alone, to fill the void, that emptiness that was unrelenting as she grieved the lost years and the hopes that had evaporated, Somewhere in amongst all of that, she'd lost her ability to say no. No is such a small word. But, oh, 
how hard it is for a superwoman to say. Now it's funny, when a superwoman is asked what it means to say no, it means she is disorganised. She's letting others down. She's admitting defeat. She is less than perfect. She's inept. She's lazy. In fact, she's an uncaring, selfish bitch. <laughs> Actually, that is not true at all. <laughs> but as a recovering superwoman myself, it's exactly what we seem to tell ourselves to keep pushing through. And we've been telling ourselves and allowing others to tell us stuff like this for way too long. So, we looked at it objectively and curiously and we realised she needed to make some changes. She recognised that she needed to replace the yes that seemed to fall out of her mouth almost unconsciously, but she felt that no was way too harsh and somehow too final to just swing straight back into. So we brainstormed for a bit and we came up with a conscious space maker statement to replace the autopilot yes as often as she could for any situation. It was a simple statement she could easily say and was adaptable to most scenarios. It went like this. Thanks for thinking of me. I'll just have to check and get back to you. Simple, clean and open. Firstly, she's acknowledged and given the other person gratitude for the offer. Thanks for thinking of me. Whether it's to have dinner, go to the movies or take on another duty. Secondly, she doesn't have to explain what she's checking against. It could be her diary, her values list, her boyfriend, her line manager, or if she was planning to have that sleep in that time slot, it's her private business. And then lastly, she's promised to get back with her answer. So this gives her breathing space to make a discerning choice rather than an autopilot and impulsive yes, and then regret or resent that answer. So if any of this resonates with you, maybe your superwoman is saying yes to leaping too many tall buildings right now and you want some help to get her back in check. I'd love to have a chat with you, listen to your story and maybe share some of the other ideas and tools I have. Maybe you can leave me a comment and let me know how relatable this has been for you. And please feel free to share it with your friends. Superwoman is in epidemic proportions and she is making us sick and tired on so many levels. So if your now is not the picture that you've painted for yourself and you'd like any help on this discovery path or maybe something completely different that you intu intuitively know or feel isn't letting your true colours shine through, then please do get in touch with me. You can do it really easily. Just leave a comment, send me a private message, drop me an email, or click onto my Calendly book site, booking site using the link that I've provided and you can set up an obligation-free curiosity call and see if we're a good fit for each other. Much love until next time.